Hello Queensland, my name is Anne Kairanis. My story is about four brothers, born in Castellouris or Greece, sons of seven children of Captain Eustathios and Anna Antonio. One brother was my father, Eleftherios, who had spent four years of army service in Greece, where he rose to the rank of sergeant and was awarded the Silver Cross of Valour and the War Cross for acts of exceptional heroism. The other brothers were my uncles, Peter, George and Angelo. They chose to migrate via Suez Canal to Queensland from 1916, where they abandoned their name Antonio and took their father's Christian name of Stathis as their surname. In 1929, my father became an Australian citizen. They showed great initiative and worked hard to make Queensland their new home. And like many Greeks who came here, they contributed to the communities they served. In particular, I'd like to share some of their business endeavours. In 1930, Uncle Peter and my father opened the Liberty Cafe in Tully until 1936, where they served meals to sugar mill workers and cane cutters. Uncle George and Angelo also spent some time in Tully before moving to Brisbane. Uncle Peter then moved to Alarish, where he built the up-to-date cafe. He served meals to cane cutters and locals. As there was no electricity in town, he generated his own and for the locals he charged batteries, produced blocks of ice, made deliveries and made and sold his own ice cream. My father also moved with his family to Alarish in 1941, where he operated a billiard saloon daily and SP Bookie on Saturdays and public holidays. In 1945, Uncle Peter moved with his family to Mackay, where he ran a billiard saloon and started a successful business called Peter's Peanuts. My father moved to Brisbane in 1956 and operated a theatre milk bar at Cooperoo and a sandwich shop at South Brisbane until his retirement. Uncle Angelo bought a building at 17 Charlotte Street, Brisbane and formed his own business, Stathis Trading Company, selling shirts and jewellery. He was the first to recognise the value of the by-product fish row of our fishing industry. He collected row and converted it to caviar or sun-dry row and exported initially to Egypt, Taiwan and Japan. In the early years of his fish row business, he was greatly assisted by his older brother, George. In his later business life, he became a major property owner and donor to the community by donating three statues in Brisbane, Lady Diamantina at the Greek Community Centre, Themis outside the law courts on George Street and Hippocrates outside the medical building on Herschel Street. All four brothers passed away in Brisbane, Queensland and are sadly missed by their loving families.